Hi everyone, I'm Sarah with Fisher Price Ranch and today I'm going to show you how we are going to build a chicken feeder. Uh, it's going to be goat proof and mess proof because they're making a huge mess right now and they are in our quarantine pen and when we do have goats in here uh, we have to be real careful how we feed them so the goats don't get into the chicken feed. So um, this will be my first time making one but I think it's a pretty good design so let's get started. So this is a feeder that I bought from the store and they're supposed to eat out of the bottom and as you can see they are making a mess. That is all chicken food. What they do is they um, claw at it and fling the food everywhere and make a huge mess. So I refuse to feed them until they've cleaned up their mess. <clears throat> they're going after all the good stuff in the feed and save the pellets for later. So I'm not going to feed them until they've cleaned up their mess, but we're going to add um, the feeder. We're going to put it behind this little ladder. That way it also helps prevent the goats from getting back there when there are some in here. Um, we did build a new chicken barn. I haven't finished the video yet because as you can see, it's not done. We've still got walls to put in, um, but definitely keep an eye out for that. All right, so we have like a junk pile back here of all scrap wood and stuff like that. So what we're going to use is some old um, cabinets and we'll just cut them down to the right size that we need. All right, so I've got all my scrap materials here and I've decided that this piece is going to be my base. So that'll give me an idea of how big to cut all the other pieces. Now, since we are reusing items, it's always best to clean up your surfaces of screws or nails before you get started. Um, two reasons you don't poke yourself. Second reason is they aren't stuck in there that you didn't see and poke an animal. All right, so I, the way that I see this piece working is this is going to be my side since it's already the right size. And we'll just put it here. But since there's gaps, oh, the wind is horrible today. Since there's gaps right here, I can stick a finger through. Or I'm going to break this piece off here. And then... Looking at it again, we'll break off this piece, or I could bring it on the inside and maybe do it that way, and then I've got a good sturdy base if I screw from the back side into here. All right, guys, so I got everything cut um, and cleaned up of all the different nails and sticks or stickers and stuff that were sticking out. So um, I'm in the chicken coop because there's no wind in here. All right, so this is our bottom. And then I cut these little pieces off an old rail that I had from a porch. So we're going to put those in the corners for support and to screw the sides and, and all that too. So our first side. I'm going to have to turn this because otherwise I'm going to block it with my first one. Okay, so our first one goes right here, and it's just going to slide all the way up to there, and we're going to put, put a board right there, and so I'm going to go ahead and actually, oh my gosh, almost get hit in the head with a chicken, but <laughs> I'm going to put this on here, and I'm going to go ahead and do a couple of screws. On both of these. So, move that out of the way. Try and get this as even as possible. But I'm going to put that on here and then another one on this side and try and put them level with the floor of it. 
see if you guys can see that. Okay. So then we're just going to take some short screws for these ones. And I'll do one side here. Make sure it's level. Okay. And then I'll do another one down a little bit further at the other end. this side. Make sure that's level. And one on the other side. And then I'll show you what it looks like. Now that's on, we've got our, our pieces on here, on both sides. Now I'm not worried about if they're level or anything, this is just for a little bit of support. Now we're going to put this back on the base. Move you back over here, and we're going to put it right here, okay, and hold on guys. I'm sorry. I'm not thinking this through very well as to where to put the camera. Alright, so now you guys can see that. So then what we'll do is we'll put, and I already screwed up. <laughs> I didn't leave a gap back here for the bait, the back. I guess I could put it on top and it won't matter. I'll just have to make sure to do the exact same thing on this side. So I'm going to get that far. Alright, so I got the three sides on with the support pieces, and the bottom is screwed to that, so now it's one solid piece. And now for the front, it's a solid piece, except I cut a small slit that's about, I'm going to say, two and a half inches this way, and then the length, almost the length of this, the width. So, um... Then what I did is on the back side, the inside of the feeder, I put this little lip on there. So they'll stick their heads up underneath. This will block all the feed from falling out. And then they'll eat out of the bottom of that. Now because that hole is so small, the goats can't get in there. So it should prevent the goats from getting into the chicken feed. Now they may still try and stick their head, their noses through and lick at it, but it's going to be too far down for them to reach anything. Now you want it nice and tight so there's no holes anywhere for the feed to fall through.
So now if you look down in, that's what it'll look like. Nice and solid all the way around. No gaps anywhere. And uh, so I'm just going to do a couple of screws up here so this isn't so loose. And we'll pull that together and fill that gap. And then we'll get the lid on. Alright, so this was part of the cabinet and it had a door on here so it already had a little hinge. So I'm just going to use the existing hinge and put it right on top. Make sure it's level. Here we go. We'll do one in the middle just for extra support. So we got our chicken feeder built. It's solid all the way around. Has a small gap for ventilation. You don't want, uh, especially with wood, a solid, complete enclosure because you know if there's any moisture in the air, it could cause mold. So we always leave a small gap. Nothing's gonna be able to get in there. Now because they're goats, and I know what'll happen, we're gonna put a latch on here that'll, um, you know, hold that lid down really well. But. The only opening is that little tiny gap at the bottom. Well, it was bound to happen. <laughs> I got all the way done with the project. I had to make one last adjustment. And, yeah, got my thumb pretty good. But it's done. Here's a quick video. I went ahead and filled a little bit in there just to make sure it worked. I had to add a little bit to each side just because it was too wide and they could pull the... Uh, pellets through on the corners a little too easy, so I just covered the corners. All right, well, I hope this was helpful, and we're excited to see how it works. I've never done this before, like I said, um, but it'll probably probably hold about 55 gallons of feed, so we should only have to feed them, I don't know, once every few months. So we're going to see how long this will last and how it does, and we'll definitely do an updated video on it later on once we get them using it. I'm going to let them clean up the ground before I use this, but at least it's ready to go for the next time i got to feed them. Alright, well make sure to hit that subscription button for more videos and uh, we'll see you guys next time.